Good morning and welcome to worship. Good morning, Father. So welcome to those of you joining us on Facebook or who will be watching this later on YouTube. As we gather this morning, may the Spirit of the Lord work within us. As we gather, may we glorify the Lord. And as our hearts begin to worship, may we be blessed because we can. Today we'll be commemorating the Feast of Ascension, which is uh, tomorrow. But since we do not have a scheduled service tomorrow, we'll be using the readings and reflections for the Feast of Ascension. Hallelujah, Christ is risen. The Lord, the Lord is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Dear friends, in Christ here, in the presence of Almighty God, let us humble ourselves and with penitent and obedient hearts confess our sins that we may obtain forgiveness by His infinite goodness and mercy. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. By what, what we have done, and by what we have left undone, we have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, come. Come, Holy Spirit, come. Spirit, come, fill us to overflowing. Be our Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit come. come. Spirit, show us your power. Be our teacher, Holy Spirit, lead us into all truth. Come. Spirit, be our healer. Heal us, Holy Spirit, come. Come, Holy Spirit. Heal us and make us all. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. O God of peace, you have taught us that in returning and rest we shall be saved. In quietness and confidence shall be our strength. By the might of your Spirit, lift us, we pray, to your presence, where we may be still and know that you are God, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, whose blessed Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, ascended far above all heavens, that he might feel all things, mercifully give us faith to perceive that, according to his promise, he abides with his church on earth, even to the end of the ages. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, in glory everlasting. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for the reading of Scripture. A reading from the book of Acts. In the first book, Theophilus, I wrote all that Jesus did and taught from the beginning until the day when he was taken up to heaven after giving instructions through, through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. After his suffering, he presented himself alive to them by many convincing proofs, appearing to them during forty days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While staying with them, he ordered them not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait there for the promise of the Father. This, he said, is what you have heard from me. For John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, is this the time when you will restore the kingdom to Israel? He replied, It is not for you to know the times or period that the Father has set by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, 
in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. We had said, when he had said this, as they were watching, he was lifted up and a cloud took him out of their sight. While they were going and they were gazing up towards heaven, suddenly two men in white robes stood by them. They said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking up toward heaven? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will now come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We we'll recite together the song, the words of Psalm 47 uh, in unison. Clap your hands, hands on you people. Shout to God with a cry of joy. For the Lord most high to be fear. He is the great king over all the earth. He subdues the peoples under us and the nations under our feet. He chooses our inheritance for us, the pride of children whom we love. God has gone up with a shout, the Lord with the sound of the rock's horn. Sing praises to God, sing praises. Sing praises to our King, sing praises. For God is King of all the earth. Sing praises with all your skill. God reigns of the nations. God sits upon his holy throne. The nobles of the peoples are gathered together with the people of the God of Abraham. The rulers of the earth belong to God, and he is highly exalted. A reading from St. Paul's letter to the Ephesians. I have heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and your love toward all the saints. And for this reason, I do not cease to give thanks for you as I remember you in my prayers. I pray that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation as you come to know him, so that with the eyes of your heart enlightened, you may know what is the hope to which he has called you, what are the riches of his glorious inheritance among the saints, and what is the immeasurable greatness of his power for us who believe, according to the working of his great power. God put this, to, this power to work in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at the right hand in the heavenly places, far above all rule and authority and the power and domi dominion, and above every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the age to come. He has put all things under his feet and has made him the head over all things for the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills all in all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. If you are able, please stand for the reading of the gospel. <laughs> Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord Christ. Jesus said to his disciples, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets, and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scripture, and he said to them, Thus it is written that the Messiah is to suffer and to rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance and forgiveness of sin is to be proclaimed in his name to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are my witnesses of the you are the witnesses of these things. And see, I'm sending upon you what my father has promised. So stay here in the city until you have been clothed with power from on high. Then he led them out as far as Bethany, and lifting up his hands, he blessed them. While he was blessing them, he withdrew from them and was carried up into heaven. And they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy. And they were continually in the temple Blessing God, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise you, Lord, Lord God. God. You may be seated. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts 
We are acceptable to you, O oh God, our rock and our redeemer. Amen. Amen. As I said at the beginning, we are commemorating the Feast of Ascension, which is uh, tomorrow, uh, the Thursday, 10 days before Pentecost, is usually the Feast of uh, Ascension. The day we commemorate Christ rising into heaven. And the readings for today are from, um, well, all, most of them were written by Luke. Uh, the, the, the book of Acts was Luke, and the Gospel was Luke. The Psalm, of course, is the Psalm of David, I imagine. And uh, the letter is from St. Paul. And they are all reflecting on. Uh, this Jesus, the, the, the uniqueness of Jesus, his unique life, his unique ministry, his unique end, uh, how he, he, he left uh, this earth. Uh, in the reading from Acts, Jesus is telling his disciples uh, to wait. He's first of all reminding them what he had said, that uh, John was baptizing with water, but he was baptized, he would baptize them with the Holy Spirit. And then he told them to wait in Jerusalem until they have received that power that, that will make them true witnesses in Jerusalem, in Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. In other words, he's saying, I'm going, but the work continues. And uh, this work will be made possible through the power of the Holy Spirit, whom I will send in new ways. We need to take note that this is not the first time Jesus was talking about the Holy Spirit. In fact, at this point, Jesus had already met the disciples where they were hiding and had breathed on them and said, receive the Holy Spirit. So the, the, the Spirit he was referring to that was to come after he left is the Spirit of power. The, the power that would enable them to be who he had prepared them to be. As I like to say, it's one thing to know who you should should be and another thing to be what you should be and uh, the difference is usually for us Christians is the the power of the Holy Spirit whether we are filled with the spirit of power we are in power whether we are empowered by the Holy Spirit to be who we are and do uh, uh, what we are called to do and of course we know that on the day of Pentecost, something very strange happened. And we know from letters of Paul talking about the manifestation of this <coughs> power, of the power of God at work within us. And that's what is exactly St. Paul is right, saying in, in, the, in, in the Ephesians. He's telling the, the Ephesian church uh, and he's praying for them. He said, I've heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love toward all the saints. And for this reason, I do not cease to give thanks for you as I remember you in my prayers. Then he goes on to say, I pray that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation as you come to know him so that with the eyes of your heart enlightened you may know what is the hope to which he has called you what are the riches of his glorious inheritance among the saints and what is the immeasurable greatness of his power for us who believe according to the working of his great power so basically he's saying, I know 
I've heard your faith. You're a wonderful Christian. You are good. You have great love. But I pray that you may know more. Uh, there's a book uh, I once read called There Is More. There is more to this story, to the story of Jesus. And indeed, St. Paul, in his letter to Ephesians here, he said, this power was put in Christ Jesus. This Jesus has power. And he's saying, we need to know about this power, that our eyes will be open to see this power, to know the hope that is in us. And what the difference does that make? One, it keeps us going. It helps us not to give up. In the face of adversity, we don't give up because we know there is power in the name of Jesus. And we wait patiently, as we read again in many places, Romans 8, that those who have this hope, the hope that St. Paul is writing here, wait for it patiently. And so this truly is wonderful encouragement for us, especially for us who have been waiting sometimes for the manifestation of this power. As I always like to say, I wish this power would be manifest as we say this, come and it would come. I have not figured out why it doesn't manifest always at our request. But this power is true that there is more in this faith we have, in this Jesus in whom we put our faith that is beyond what we already know. And so we wait for it. We continue to pray and trust and believe that in God's good time, God will, this power will be manifest in our own situations. Earlier at the Bible study, we were talking about the story of Joseph, who had dreamed as a little child that he would become a great person. And he started bragging about it to his brothers. And his brothers didn't like it and sold him. And uh, every little opportunity to get better uh, turned back. And uh, uh, he, you, you know the story. He gets a job, at, uh, he's sold to one of the officials in Egypt. And this official trusts him. It seems like his dream is coming true, but things go south, uh, and then he ends up in prison. In prison, he seems to be uh, doing well in charge, actually, of the of the jail he was in. He God favors him and he interprets dreams for for fellow prisoners, and he tells them when you get out, one of them gets out. Uh, and he said, don't forget me. He forgets him. But in God's time, he was lifted up and made uh, next to Pharaoh. So those who know, and I think that's the message in this letter to the Ephesians, those who know uh, the, 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 the power and the promise of God, don't give up. They also know that timing is the key thing. And that's why Jesus, in his uh, speech, is saying, wait in Jerusalem. Wait. And that is the hardest thing for us. Especially when things are not going well. It's hard to wait. I know. It is hard to wait. I have my own issues that I've been praying for years years, for a breakthrough, for years, that have not happened. But I know they will happen because I've seen that happen. There are many others that I've waited for in the past and took years and years and then the door opened. And I say, oh my God, like the psalmist when the, 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 the Lord restored our fortunes who were like dreaming. And, and so, let us take courage 
and remain hopeful because he who has promised is faithful and he will do it. When the disciples waited in Jerusalem, they waited and waited and waited. And then one morning, something tremendous happened and they were never the same. The movement was never the same. In one day, 3,000 people were added to their number. There were only 120. And it went, when the day started at the end of the day, there were 3,120. That is what we call breakthroughs. And so if you are longing and waiting for a breakthrough, keep waiting, keep hoping, keep trusting. Let us pray. Lord, thank you for your promise. You have not abandoned us. You are still with us. And your promise for us is sure. Though it may tarry, it will come to pass. Help us to wait patiently for your time, Lord, for the manifestation of your power in our own lives, in our own circumstances. Thank you, Lord. We bless you, we honor you. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 With that, we bring before God those who have come for our prayer, remembering especially Robert, John, Terry, Lisa, Scott. Madeline, Terry, Ashley, Stacy, John, Amanda, David, Joanne, Lee, Jen, Brandy, Deborah, Liz, Beverly, Cheryl, Vicky, John, Maddie, Anna, Dory, Debbie, Bishop Michael, Fernanda, Mary Francis, Mary Kay, Haley, Agatha, Haley, Alice, Bishop Norman, Thomas, Ryan, Mark, Julie, Daryl, Deacon Charlie, Ray, Tiffany, Megan, Dan, Lisa, Emma, Barbara, Sophia, David, Brock, Janet, John, Mandy, Terry, Marianne, Marianne, Colin, Bar. Yael, Pascal, Erin, Mary Ellen, Montana, Scott, Shango, Jeanette, Ray, Jeffrey, Ken and Brandy, all those who are bereaved, all those with COVID-19, the staff of the children at our school and at the South Power Ministry, the victims of uh, natural disasters, floods, tornadoes, landslides, and all those who are in need of our prayers. God the Father, your will for all people is health and salvation. We praise you and thank, thank you, Lord. Lord. God the Son, you came that we might have life and might have it more abundantly. We, we praise you, you. Thank, thank you, Lord. Lord. God the Holy Spirit, you make our bodies the temple of your presence. We, we praise you, you thank, thank you, Lord. Lord. Holy Trinity, one God, you will even move and have our being. We, we praise you, you thank, thank you, Lord. Lord, grant your healing grace to all who are sick, injured, or disabled, that they may be made whole. Hear us, O Lord, Lord. Lord. Heal and restore. All those devastated by war and violence, 
special laws in Israel and the Palestinian territories, Ukraine, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Sudan, Haiti, and other areas where there's power. Here is the Lord of Life. Grant to the dying, peace and the holy death, and upon by the grace and consolation of your Holy Spirit, those who are believed. Hear us, O Lord of Life. Bless physicians, nurses, and all others who minister to suffering, granting them wisdom and skill, sympathy and patience. Hear us, O Lord of Life. Mend broken relationships and restore those in emotional distress to soundness of mind and serenity of spirit. Hear us, O Lord of Life. Grant to all who seek your guidance and to all who are lonely, anxious, or despondent, knowledge of your will and an awareness of your presence. Hear yes, us, O Lord of Life. You are the Lord who does wonders. You, you have declared your power among the peoples. With you, O Lord, is the well of life. And in your life, we see life. Hear us, O Lord of life. Hear us, us and make us, us whole. Mighty God, give of life and health. Send your blessing on all who are sick and upon those who minister to them, that all weakness may be vanquished by the triumph of the risen Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At this point, I invite you to take a moment of silence to bring before the Lord the things that concern you the most beseeching him to come quickly to those situations. We believe in Jesus there's power to change, to break every chain, to heal, to restore. Let our prayer be that this may be the moment. May this be the time of God to break through, to manifest your power in this situation. Some of us have been waiting for so long. And how we long for a breakthrough. Come quickly, O Lord, and heal the sick. Heal the broken hearted. Restore all that is broken. Even now, right here in this place, come Lord, send forth your power, let it be manifest, and bring healing and wholeness in our midst, Lord. Stretch out your hand and touch all those who are longing and yearning, those in their beds, those their rooms. Come on. Hear us. Thank you, Lord.
that sustain the Holy Spirit. Grant you the evil anointing of the Holy Spirit. Drive away all sickness of God and Spirit to heal and restore to fullness and strength. Grant you victory that you enable you to continue loving and serving you all the days of your lives. In Jesus' name. Grant you the inward anointing of the Holy Spirit. Drive away all sickness of God and Spirit. Heal and restore you to all and strength. And grant you victory. We shall enable you to continue loving and serving them on the days of their life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Because I lay my hands upon you and anoint you with holy fire in the name of the Father, and the Son, and Spirit, beseeching our Lord Jesus Christ, sustain its presence, grant you the inward anointing of the Holy Spirit, drive away all sickness of God and Spirit, to heal and restore to wholeness and strength, and to grant you victory, which you enable you to continue loving and serving Him all the days of your life. In Jesus' name, Amen. 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 Pray I lay my hands upon you on behalf of your wife. And I thank you with holy oil in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Seeking our Lord Jesus Christ, sustaining with his presence, to grant you the inward anointing of the Holy Spirit, to drive away all sickness of God and spirit, and to heal and restore you to wholeness and strength, and to grant you victory. We shall enable you to continue loving and serving you all the days of your lives. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And now may the mighty Lord who is a strong tower to all who put their trust in him, to whom all things in heaven and on earth and under the earth bound obey, be now and evermore your defense. And make you know that the only name under heaven given for health and salvation is the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Peace, 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 peace. Blessed are you, Lord God, King of the universe, through your goodness and all this great offer, that you may become our spiritual food. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God, King of the universe, through your goodness and all this one offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hand, that you may become our spiritual being. Blessed be God forever. 
God wash away my sin, grant me from my celebrate this holy Eucharist and thanksgiving to God for all the blessings of our lives, for his promise to us never to leave us alone, for his promise of the Holy Spirit to guide us and to empower us, but more so an intercession on behalf of those who are waiting and longing for breakthroughs that God indeed will come quickly that this power that we know is in Jesus will be manifest in their lives. If you are able, I invite you to stand. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and prayers. It is right that a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you. Father, almighty creator of heaven and earth, through your dear and beloved Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, after his glorious resurrection, he openly appeared to his disciples and in their sight ascended into heaven to prepare a place for us, that where he is, there we might also be and reign with him in glory. Therefore we praise him. Joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, the heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy and gracious Father. In infinite love you made us for yourself. And when we had fallen into sin and become subject to evil and death, you in your mercy sent Jesus Christ, your only and eternal Son, to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. He stretched out his arms upon the cross and offered himself in obedience to your will, a perfect sacrifice for the whole world. In the night was handed over to suffering and death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And when he had given thanks to your God, he broke it. And gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Whenever you drink, you do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ, Christ is risen. risen. Christ will come again. We celebrate the memory of our redemption, our Father, in this sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, recalling his death, resurrection, and ascension, we offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit, to be for your people the body and blood of your Son, the holy food and drink of new and unending life in him. Sanctify us also, that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. And at the last day, bring us with all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ, by him, with him, and in him. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are about to pray. 
Seven, let us pray together. Gracious Father, we give you praise and thanks for this holy communion. The body and blood of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, the pledge of our redemption. And we pray that you may bring us forgiveness of our sins, strengthen our weakness, and everlasting salvation. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now may God the Father bless you, God the Son heal you, God the Holy Spirit give you strength. May God the Holy and Undivided Trinity guard your body, save your soul, and bring you safely to his heavenly country where he lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah.